Once the weather starts warming up, it's prime time for hens to start getting broody. So if you have hens right now that are not wanting to leave their box and it's throughout spring or summer, it's perfectly normal. But if you are not wanting to hatch out chicks or if you're like us and don't even have a rooster for that to be possible, then sometimes dealing with broody hens could be pretty frustrating. So in today's video, I'll be sharing seven tips that could possibly help break your hen of her broodiness. They are not a guarantee, but they are definitely tips that can help. But of all the tips that I provide for you today, I believe that tip number six and tip number seven are the most easy to implement and they're really the only two that I do here in our flock. But listen to all the tips and you can decide which would be best for you. So tip number one is to block the entrance of the box. Sometimes broody hens only want to sit on eggs in one particular box. So if you block the entrance to that box, it could prevent her from wanting to sit in there any longer but make sure that you have other boxes available so that other hens can still continue to lay eggs. Tip number two is to put the hen on the roost after dark. So typically hens want to lay in their box all day long and they may get off once or twice a day to get a quick drink and some food, but they just want to stay in the box all day long. But if you can put that hen on the roost once it gets dark, they often won't want to leave the roost. And so you can try just taking her out of the nest but at the end of the day and putting her on the roost and try that for a few days in a row and that may break her from her broodiness. And then tip number three is to remove the nesting material from the box. And the thought behind this tip is that hens like to lay eggs in a soft and cozy area. Um, if they can choose their own area, you'll typically see them laying eggs in a bush or in a hidden pile somewhere, somewhere where they know that their eggs are safe. And so it, often if you remove that nesting material, it may deter her from wanting to sit in there any longer. But I don't really recommend that tip because when other hens then lay their eggs, they could end up getting broken or damaged because you're gonna, they're gonna be laying eggs in an area that isn't suitable really for laying eggs. Another tip that I've heard in the past is to put the nesting box in an area that's busy with a lot of commotion. And this is impossible for us because our nesting boxes are permanent, but some people have nesting boxes that are more portable such as egg crates or buckets with some nesting material and hens want to be in a quiet area to lay their eggs, especially when they're sitting on eggs. They don't really want to be disturbed and they just want to be in a quiet, stress-free, not noisy area. So if you move that nest into an area that is busy with a, with a lot of commotion, they're likely not going to want to sit on their eggs anymore. So that could be something that may work, but it's probably not likely, especially if you have nesting boxes that are more permanent. The next tip is to move the hen into her own pen. And the reason this could work is because hens don't really like being disturbed and when they're out of the normal routine, they will often break certain habits. So if she's broody or if you have a hen, for example, that may be eating her own eggs, sometimes just removing them from the coop and putting them in their own pen for a while can break them of whatever habit they're currently in. So if you have the space to be able to move them into their own pen for a few days, you can try moving them and seeing if that helps. But if they're not really causing any issues, this could be more of a hassle than good. And now tip number six, which I think is the easiest to implement, is to just collect eggs often. So go into your coop morning and evening and try to collect eggs as often as you can. If you wanna go in there three times a day, that's great too, because if the hens never get a huge pile of eggs underneath them, sometimes they don't ever wanna sit on eggs. So if you just collect your eggs frequently, especially through broody season, that can really help deter them from wanting to sit on eggs because they never get a large clutch of eggs underneath of them to sit on. And the other thing that is great about collecting your eggs often is that even if she is in the nest, there's likely only one or two eggs under her. And then when you're back a few hours later to collect eggs again, you just remove those eggs and there's never a huge pile of eggs underneath of her. Um, sometimes this is hard to do because a lot of times broody hens get kind of mean and they may want to peck at you. So if you have to wear gloves or long sleeves, be sure to do so so you don't get hurt. But collecting your eggs often is a really good tip. And then tip number seven is to remove the hen from the nest. And I end up doing this a lot with my hens that are gentle and nice. I have a few hens that are broody right now, but they're not mean. They don't peck at me when I try to remove them from the nest. And so when I go in to collect eggs, I just remove them from the nest. I put them on the ground so then they can go outside and get some food and water. And when I come back into the coop, they're usually back in the nest, but there's no eggs underneath of them because I've collected eggs and I've removed them from the nest. So you can just do this. And usually after a few weeks of removing them from the nest each day and collecting eggs often, they tend to not be quite as broody. But if you have a hen that's mean and wants to peck at you when you remove her from the nest, just be careful. And if you need to wear gloves or long sleeves, whatever it is so that you can easily remove her from the nest without getting pecked. 
and then collect those eggs often. But the best thing to do, especially if you don't want to deal with broody hens, is to raise breeds that are not known for going broody. And there's so many great breeds out there that are great layers, but they're not known for being broody. And so if you head to this video right here, I share five breeds that are not known for going broody that will still give you an abundance of fresh eggs. So head to that video next and I'll see you there.